Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. I'm here with my father, Kevin. <laughs> and today <laughs> we are doing uh, what most people would call a classic album, uh, Demon Days by Gorillaz. And up until this morning, uh, when I said we were going to be doing some Gorillaz, you did not know what, <laughs> who they were. Which what, I, well, when you said we're... Hey, you know what we're doing today? I'm like, we're doing a couple of girls. No, we're doing some gorillas. And I'm like, I didn't, I really don't have a clue what the hell that was. I thought we're going to watch National Geographic. Yeah, just watch gorillas. Yeah, just watch gorillas it. or something. Yeah, no, it's gorillas with a Z at oh. the end. Or a Z, Z for that. For you American <laughs> fellows out there. We synchronized there. Um, yeah, you don't know anything about them. Well, you've you've given me a little bit of a, a thing. About, yes, off camera, I told you a little bit about uh, yeah. about what it's the a concept, concept is. Yeah. And the, we're the, seeing everything yeah, this thing yeah. today <laughs> about the vir virtual characters and it's it's uh, Damon Albarn's uh, work. Yeah, um, and girls will be know, boys. Will be boys. You know him girls, yeah. through through Blur. Yeah. Okay, we will go into track number one, titled Intro, and I'll let it play into track number two. Last Living Souls. It's really building up the chaos, eh? Mm -hmm. Categorize this. <laughs> if, right? I if I had to categorize this right now, you could not. I could not. I could actually not. That's what I was saying earlier. How he he blends a lot of genres together: El electronic, rock, hip rock. Yeah, you know what? There's like so much blended in this that. That was really, really cool wow not what you expected it was what was it was a bunch of it was there was so much so many different things happening on the the 808s then the acoustic guitars then that string woo, section. string section his voice is great this is the same blur uh boys won't be yeah also. he's he's the the lead singer for wow because his voice is in this song is deeper than no, mm. actually, he, no. The song is deep, isn't it? Mm. Boys will be girls, will be boys, will be girls, and yeah, he sings. Yeah. he doesn't sing high. Um, is this is this is a theme? Is this album? I'm just wondering. It's like, is it is it, is it thematic? Is it? Does yeah, it, you'll see. Because I just I, I, I want to get the lyrics then. Okay. Because then, yeah, if you want, because that was Last Living Souls, and then I, the intro was very chaotic. Last Living Souls. I just feel like I might want to just scroll a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you can pull up the lyrics yeah, for just, the, the rest of the album then, if that's if you feel like track number three. Kids with guns. This fucking sounds good, man. <laughs> yeah. Kids with guns. Kids with guns. Take it over. I won't be long. Easy does it. It's weird, man. It's so good. It's good, and it's like I want to pigeonhole it somewhere. Yeah, but you can't. But I can't. There's parts that go. I go Radiohead. There's parts I go Strokes. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what's been driving this whole this. Mm -hmm. No, the bass line, the bass really drives this project. Oh yeah, yeah. It's that 
was intense. <laughs> that that bass and is, I think it's bass and guitar or it's mm, bass. It's right yeah. from the get go, just drives that song right through, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I love that song. Uh, I, I absolutely love the you know when he his, goes high. his voice opens up and it, it, there's more space in that one part. And yeah. then his voice, you know, he now they're turning higher. us into monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a highlight for me. I love that. This was a big, big album. Yeah, that's why, yeah. I'm, that's why I'm surprised you've never heard of Gorillaz or this album. I mean, this is kind of their... I haven't heard any of that there. <laughs> to, to, to me, um, they have... This is my second favorite album by them. Yeah. Plastic Beach uh, is my favorite album uh, from them. Track number four, Oh Green World. This would be pretty crazy live, eh? Yeah. Fucking the whole room would be shaking. That there. Yeah, I can't. I, you can't. But I hear blur stuff, though. Mm, blur feel. Bit. Yeah. Sprinkled in there. Yeah. Oh my god, I hear, like. And I know I'm not making, I shouldn't make comparisons, but this part here reminds me of the strokes. Yeah, for sure. That, I mean, this was a post the strokes, so. That, that. Yeah. The sense, where his vocals are. Julian always was sitting back and. Yeah, Julian's vocals were very similar to what he's doing on this Yeah, pulled right back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sick, right? And that was cool. <laughs> I love the constant chant mm-hmm. throughout the song. Yeah. I really like that track. Um, he, uh, he, the, it's so strange for me that he'd be jumping from Astro, which we just did to a place so where, is. yeah, because it's, they're sonically just completely, completely. worlds apart. Yes. And Astro's big, yeah. spacious. Yeah. Whereas this is definitely it has tight, a compressed. Yeah. And um, parts of it uh, reminded me of a video game, and I don't know which one. Like just that. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the thing with this album. I was excited to show you because I feel like it's just sprinkled with elements of stuff that you would like. Yeah. Like I know you're just like throughout the rest of this, you're you're gonna hear sounds and be like, oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, that's that's great. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Track number five. Dirty Harry. Oh, yeah, this is great, man. Just as we're talking, that ride symbol. Yeah. I absolutely get a boner from that synth sound. Yeah. You know. That's what I said. There's going to be little yeah. sounds that you grasp onto that That's you're like, killer. That's fucking great. That's nostalgia, though, for me. This choir and the synths and then that whole hip hop piece was unreal. Oh, Fucking awesome. Dirty Harry. That was fantastic. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorites. Fantastic. The groove, the beat, the synths, and then the hip hop and the choir going on was really, really cool, man. Um, the way that he comes with it, like you got... And out. then that synth falling. <laughs> yeah. Track. Number six, it's titled Feel Good Inc. <laughs> Have you heard this? Not this part, but fuck, it's nice and fat, man. 
I love the use of his textures. I am loving hearing hip hop mixed in with this. Yeah, this sonically, sound. yeah. What a cool thing to do, man. Then the chorus is in these spacious spots. You wouldn't think it would work. No, but it does. You wouldn't. I was gonna. On paper, it doesn't sound like yeah. it would work, right? Like you come in with this part. Isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> this is thick and bad. That was <laughs> right on. Right on, man. 10 out of 10. 10 out, that, that was seriously, Matt. The mix on that song, and you think that it's not going to work it, together, but it does. It goes all over the place in, in the best possible way. Yeah, it just really, really works. And then it goes to the acoustic guitar part, and then I'm like, and he's got this... With those, those kind of synth things that were just it's kind everything of floating is, around at the, at the back end of the track. I want to hear that song again. <laughs> it's addictive. I was uh, listening to this album the other day, Driving on the Highway. Yeah. And when that song came on, I just cranked it up to as loud as it could possibly go when I was <laughs> driving like 100 miles per hour on the oh, highway. God. And I was just groove into it. I'm glad you said highway. It wasn't side street. Or, no, yeah. I was school by, zone. by the school zone 100 miles per hour <laughs> going over speed bumps like this. <laughs> <laughs> Track number seven, El Manana. Good melody. Love the melody on this one. This is giving me weird back feelings. You know that? Really? Yeah. Lyrically or melody? Everything. Or? This overall feeling, man. It's it's haunting and it's reminding me of something. It's a somber feeling, but it's not. Wow, it started with that sireny sound and ended with it. That okay, I gotta say that gave me some real deep feelings, man. I don't know if it's because it's like the it reminds me of something from the past or what, but the brilliant thing about music is it it did that to me right now. Like yeah. first time hearing that song, I got a feeling like mm. I don't know a haunting, but I I just weird a haunting but happy feeling. A mixture of the, the two. What is it? Uh, it's just I can't explain it. See yeah. that's weird about music the, it's, the melody has this yeah haunting somber kind of feeling yeah and, but at the same time the music is not so dark that it makes it into a really sad song but it's not happy it's not like yeah. super uplifting i think the guitar you know brings it up a little it's it's a weird mix but it works yeah it, no it's that you know what that's for me that's a highlight of this right now that's that's really interesting because i that's one track that's not like a not a huge one it's yeah not, that's it's that's a, that's a that's that's a highlight for me track number eight every planet we reach is dead <laughs> right into it. Yeah. i love the use of wah when it's not in a porno <laughs> yeah well i like it used in a porno too like i lost my Oh, that sounds so much. <laughs> <laughs> His voice at points remind me of York. 
Mm. But not at all. No, me too. Right there. Like that right there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, very, very Tom-esque. I love the pace of this. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit lazy, that walk. Yeah. It feels like it's just a little bit behind. Behind, right? yeah. He's, he's slagging behind. He's like harshly hung over, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you know? What are we going Hear that slide. Right, I love it. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's that fat bass came in. It's probably there all the whole time. That was epic, man. Yeah. It, Crazy. Right, it, it comes in right away. There's no build up or anything. <laughs> it's just boom. But you know, this is one of the, you just said earlier that it, it, it completely builds to a climax, most of these. Yeah. That one yeah. really, really shot the load, right? Yeah. It was, no, really, right? It was right at the end. It was like, kapow. Yeah, no. Like, um, but yeah. Great another, harmonies. That was really cool. And and like you were pointing out with like when that piano came in, like the, yeah, there's just small little instruments. And and yeah. I was thinking about this while we were just listening. I'm like, it's it's such a like he did such a good job crafting this because it this is so easy to mess up. Like having this many genre influences and instruments, you could easily fuck this up. And You're make bang it sound on, horrible. Yeah, but he did it perfectly that things don't clash and they don't you know. Like, yeah. like feel good ink, you know, you wouldn't want to have a piano on there. You yeah. wouldn't want to have a, a, a synth section or string, like big strings or, or choir or anything. Yeah. Like there's certain, like he really figured out, okay, this is going to work and I'm only going to use it for a small part in this track. That's brilliant, say, eh? Yeah. To come up with that. Like, you know, I fucking around with shit all the time. And as soon as I add something and I'm not good, that's all I am. So fuck, I'm not well, and especially with the, the, uh, the amount of sounds there are now, like yes. when you're creating stuff, it's I like know. you don't even know where to start, really. Track number nine, November has come. Slow it down some, no split clown bum, your gold hit sound dumb, loaded, voted, sugar coated, loaded, hip shooter. Wow. Tell for the poor, free coffee at the banks. Blew the whole spot like some old ass with skunk meat. <laughs> too fast, juiced off a junk tree. Who could get loose or off a crunk or a funk beat? Something started today. Where did he go? Why you wanted to be where you know November has come? Can you dig it like a spigot? My guess is yes, you can. Like, can I kick it wicked? Lick a shot if you have me and you know it as you clap your hands to the thick snot of a poet in the dog of Billabong. Is it not for real? His voice and flow is so good. Amazing. I'm excited to do more Doom. What a mix of these two, hey? Yeah. Well, I absolutely love Doom on here because this is... He absolutely kills his verse. It's great. Yeah. But he's totally out of his element. That in terms of like instrumentally like he would never rap on that beat on one of his own records which i was gonna is, ask that yeah yeah which is cool with the rap features because it's hip-hop in this alternate world, world. Yeah, yeah where it's <laughs> it's it not again. a typical hip-hop song um or hip-hop beat you know but that those two things come together it's like it's, it's like when those those great things i used to tell you about the grammys the grammys i love that two worlds coming together yeah they bring two different artists yeah and try to and they usually back then you said with the Grammys they would they do usually well. hit it really a bang on like you know James Taylor or an Eminem or, or whatever I don't know but you know they just put them together I don't know who said it or who the creator behind it was like we're gonna put these two guys together and you guys are gonna sing this song it was like yeah. fuck it was wicked right track number ten all alone all alone, all alone. Picasso, due to run my. 
like speech of my wandering. This didn't fire like yonder in. Skin of my tooth like, skin of my boot like, flying my tooth like, where's the waitress? Can't take this, really can't finish this. We about to make it clear. We happy on we lonesome. The long jump, the beat I tell you, I'm loving these two things coming together, man. And then you just got stuff like this. This <laughs> what? Holy shit, wicked. <laughs> that was cool, man. <laughs> Lost drum part. I can't tell you how enjoyable that is um, between the two. The hip hop. The hip hop and that this synth thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard that. No, I don't think we've done a record that has put those two together as, as as this has happened right here. Maybe the closest thing is like the first man on the moon with the synths, but not not this not boom this. Ba boom, 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 no, boom, boom, that was more like synths, but on a like a slower pace. Yes, yes. I was trying to think of what this feel is. Uh, that is it like? I don't know what to, I don't know what to call that. I don't. Is it, it's not dance. I don't. It's I don't know what it is. I, <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I told you. It's hard to categorize. I don't. I don't know one. what that really. I don't know how to say that. Like, but 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 uh, this this guy here, man, the 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 rapper. The, the rapper was fantastic. Oh, he just murdered that beat. Track eleven is titled "White Light." White light. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right over. Isn't that intense? Yeah. Fuck, this would go really hard in like a smaller club. Yeah, playing it live. Yeah. Especially with all the alcohol, alcohol, white <laughs> yeah. light, white light. That was intense and short. Yeah, one of the shorter songs, but uh, one of my favorites on there. Just wow. Just because it's, of how oh, intense do, 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 do. And then, yeah, he, he really loves to have those breaks where he opens up and it's spacious with the guitar. And, it's and beautiful and it works. Yeah. It doesn't shock you either. Like, you, you I, I didn't jump. I like Usually I jump when, when Something it's, comes too yeah, fast. And then it's like, oh, yeah, fuck, whoa. you know, freaks me out, right? Mm -hmm. Puts me in another weird headspace. But uh, that just came in nice and soft. Like when we did Childish Gambino, the first track, <laughs> there you were. that was probably the most shocked I've seen you. You were like, you almost couldn't think afterwards you were in like a weird state you know what Be because the the meditative thing right before it was calm making you calm it was calm and everything was and then it just came out and it was like holy shit yeah i remember you were like i talking you're like i, I can't even process this right no, now. no because i got you know when you really when you you've been through or you really concentrate on something and you're very you're mindful and you're in that mm -hmm. thing right in that zone and then somebody hey you know yeah. what I mean? Then, then it's like, whoa. Then you jump and you're like, the fuck? You, yeah. you get a little bit flustered. I got flustered on the Gambino, mm. but I'm not getting flustered. No, yet. not with this. Yeah, it's not such a big jump, right? Track number 12, Dare. It's there. Oh. Wow. Super dancey, eh? Mm -hmm. I can't help but doing this. It's weird. Does these ever make you feel like video games? Sometimes, yeah. 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 So many little things, man, mm -hmm. popping up all over the place. <laughs> I love how he's talking in the background. He's got yeah. the, the British accent. He's like, work it out. <laughs> yeah, you can hear him just in the background yeah. quietly. It's like she's singing on stage and he's a drunk British guy yeah. at a club. In the front row. In the front row, yeah. Hello there. 
<laughs> That's good, man. It's a catchy one. That is the catchiest chorus for sure on this right mm-hmm. now. Yeah, I'd say so. That was uh, that was really cool. Okay. Dare. We'll keep going. Three tracks left. Um, Track number 13. Fire coming out of the monkey's head. Once upon a time at the foot of a great mountain, there was a town where the people known as happy folk lived. Their very existence a mystery to the rest of the world. The happy folk were blind. Falling out of airplanes and hiding out in holes. Waiting for the sunset to come, people going home. They found the caves of unimaginable sincerity and beauty. By chance, they stumbled upon the place where all good souls come to rest. The strange folk, they coveted the jewels in these caves above all things. There was only fire. And then, nothing. Oh, a little town in the USA, time has come to see. There's nothing you believe you want. Love me now. Wow, I have never heard anything like that done before. Yeah, completely different song structure. <laughs> song structure, the, the storytelling. Um, I was... I was, it's weird. I was actually here. I'm, I'm in the phase. See, mm-hmm. how do you do that? Where do you get out of it? You fucking do something to your eyes. You know where you just get stuck? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was in, I was at the base of the, of this mountain monkey. Yeah. You get really, it's almost like, uh, listening to that track reminds me of when I sit down and, or go, go to bed and listen to an audio book and I'm, I'm just the guy, per, the reader is describing stuff so well and you're just kind of really, you're there like in your mind. <laughs> that, that was like, I, I thought of that right as he's telling the story and I'm thinking what a way to tell a story you have that music going in the background and your the music keeps you really like instead Engaged, of having yeah. Yeah, having just the voice like you know like you mm-hmm. and I are talking right now but having that music there you're floating around you're really really stuck on what he's saying yeah the music almost hypnotizes you into the vocals yes um, because you're just you're you're stuck in this loop of this this groove going on yeah. and then you're focusing on the vocals which are the the speech which even brings you further into this this world. Fire coming out of the monkey's head, man. Wow. Okay. Okay. Track 14. Don't get lost in heaven. Wow, man, imagine doing that with people. <laughs> Listen to Verb on that. That was interesting. Is it, it feels like it's going to interlude into something. Yeah, that's more of like a low-key kind of, it's short and it's yeah, not, yeah. it doesn't build up to much. It's kind of more of just a transitional track, I'd say. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I, I love his melody. Yeah. Track number 15, Demon Days. Beautiful strings. They sound completely, utterly real. That's about this album. Is uh, it sounds like everything's been played. Yeah, like, like every, live, live. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a little bit of the melody from the last track. Oh yeah. 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 So it is. It does carry in. That's okay. The, you were right about it being an interlude kind of thing. God, I love the choices that he makes instrumentally. Yes. Yeah. Like I said earlier, he makes the right choices. Yeah. 
hear that? The whole transition here, it just brought us to a new so, place. Exactly, yeah. It's like we walked, we were in this weird, weird place. And then you're and stepping out. We walked in through some bushes. That's what it feels yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. This is really cool, man. <laughs> I love this. What they're doing, man. Mm -hmm. The lyrics. Brand new day. That was an album and a half of 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 wow. <laughs> an like, album and a half of wow. Well. Like you know, I just want to say that like Dare. Yeah, but Fire Coming Out of the Monkey's Ass, Don't Get Lost in Heaven and Demon Days really <laughs> Why should say coming out of the monkey's ass. <laughs> You 100% said that. No. I'm going to go back and listen to it later. As soon as we're done, we'll go back what? and I'll show you. I, I, I bet, I, I swear that's what I heard. I you, Why did you say that? I didn't, did I? I swear you did. No, I think I said monkey's head. I think you said monkey's ass. I'll check. I'll, I'll check after. I swear that's what you said. I totally lost. I've totally, totally lost my train of thought. You were, you were naming tracks. You said "Dare Fire" coming out oh, of the monkey's head. Oh, now you got me crying. Oh fuck! Uh, did I say monkey's head? I don't know. We'll, okay. we'll check. I, okay. I, <laughs> that's really stupid. Then if I said that, fire coming out. Uh, dare fire coming. But okay, fire coming out of the monkey's head. <laughs> don't get lost in heaven, and demon days. Um, they really sum up the title of this album and bring it to its climax. Like mm. the other, like it didn't flow the way, like those three tracks really, really brought this cinematic thing to Feel it. to it, yeah. Big and time. And finished the album. And finished the album, right? The other tracks, they were loosely, you know, sparred in there at, at diff with different, you know, different emotions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But those three really th th set a thematic tone. A hundred percent. I agree. Right. Um, Fuck, and, still crying. But the, the other tracks as well, like just to touch on the other tracks, like, the album as a whole, just all over the place in the, in the best possible way, and it yeah. works. Um, yeah, sorry, Last Living Souls, Kids with Guns, like Dirty Harry, the one, all, the one with MF Doom, all of them like feel the, good. The world is going to shit, and, and there's just, yeah. there's fucking like the Mother Earth, and you know what I mean. It all it all once once you get to the ending, you get it. it. Makes yeah, it yeah. makes sense. The to The rest me. of the album makes sense. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, totally. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a deep album, actually. It is, yeah, and it's uh. And I think for you, it's. I hope it's an inspiring album. It for you. is, you know that. I'm so glad you showed this because, just even if I go and I do that, go and revisit that tune mm -hmm. with some help of you, uh, and and some, and you know, we figure out some how to fucking make things, you know, compressors or whatever we do yeah. to bring things up. Like I want to finish and and finish a track like that, right? Mm -hmm. And I have some beds there already done. I got so excited about them. But that uh, fire coming out of the monkey's head, I bet you didn't think that would be the one to inspire me. I did not. I thought that was going to be one that you were going to be like, that's cool. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. We'll probably end off here because we got to eat. Yeah. Um. So I think my shorts got shorter. Yeah, I had like, to. I, I had to lower mine during the yeah. last track. If you guys noticed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, wait. See, we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Get them as high as possible, and we'll wrap up the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you guys made it all the way to the end, I just want to give you a huge thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, we hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this i had a lot of fun um did you have fun i had an absolute serious blast thank you guys for watching <laughs> uh and we'll see you soon peace <laughs>